I've been diving in the sea for over 40 years, and I thought I'd seen about everything, from great white sharks face to face, to the beautiful little Spanish dancer nudibranch we see out when we're diving at nighttime. But I was not quite prepared to see what I saw diving this summer with a group of friends in the Philippines. Coming face to face with a 30,000 pound fish with its mouth the size of my front door wide open. It's a hard thing to describe until you've been actually under the water diving with the whale shark. Whale sharks, known as Bu Ting Ting in this part of the world, are the largest shark in the world and one of the largest fish in the world. We were scuba diving with not just one of these amazing creatures, but six. When one of these giant 40,000 pound fish that grow to 42 feet long comes cruising out of the deep blue right up to you when you're scuba diving, turns away at the last second and looks at you with a little beady round eye. It sends chills up and down your back. These animals have been around for 60 million years. They're called the gentle giants. It's pretty amazing when you're sitting there, calm, peaceful, and looking at this giant creature coming at you with its mouth wide open. These giant sharks look just like the big great white sharks or tiger sharks in their body shape. But they don't have teeth. They feed on plankton, very small animals, shrimp, or maybe small fish. They cruise through the open ocean with their mouth wide open and take in thousands and thousands of gallons of water every minute. They have filtering mechanisms called gill rakers where they filter out the food and then pass the seawater out to the gills on the side of their head. As you see in these movies, people can actually swim, scuba dive, and be very safe around these giant, magnificent creatures. They actually go right at you like they're going to knock you right over or suck you up into their big mouth. But at the last moment, they always turn away. One thing you have to be very careful about is they have a three to four thousand pound tail. When you are taking movies and pictures of these beautiful creatures up close, you don't want to get walloped on the side of the head with your dive gear on underwater at 40, 50 feet by a 3,000 foot tail. So you have to be very cautious when you're becoming close to them and trying to get movies or pictures. Very little is known about the whale sharks and how they breed. Matter of fact, the only time anyone has ever really been able to see how many babies they have or how they have babies is from some large females that have died when they were gravid or pregnant. One of them, they found 300 small whale shark pups inside of her that had not been born yet. It's thought that the whale sharks are ovoviparous, which means that they produce eggs but those eggs hatch internally inside the female, and then she gives what it looks like as to be live birth. One little whale shark was found in the Philippines about 10 years ago, only 15 inches long. They think that that's the smallest whale shark that has ever been found and probably had just been born. Not a lot is known about these whale sharks. Here in the Philippines, 
where we were diving with them, is an area where they actively feed the whale sharks shrimp. And as you can see, some of the whale sharks are standing what looks like on their tail with their mouth wide open, sucking in gallons and gallons and gallons of shrimp that the people up on top are giving to them off their little outriggers. This makes a real amazing and unique scenario where a group of scuba divers can dive comfortably and safely with six to ten giant whale sharks all at the same time. These creatures know that you're there. They're curious. They come right up to you. The mouth on some of these whale sharks can get five feet wide. I actually saw one person taking a still picture when the whale shark was sucking in tons of water like it's doing right now, sucking in the shrimp. And it sucked his arms in the camera right inside the whale shark's mouth. He had to yank him back out before the whale shark turned and went the other way. These creatures in the Philippines that are now being fed is quite a controversial issue. Whale sharks spend much of their time cruising the open ocean. Most of the whale sharks once a year migrate all the way to Australia in the springtime. A whale shark with its mouth open may travel for hundreds and hundreds of miles to get a full belly of food eating just tiny little plankton. When people attract them into an area like this and are feeding them, one of the problems is that the whale sharks aren't actually out in the middle of the ocean pushing a lot of volume of water through their gills. Sometimes this can cause gill infections or even parasites in the gills or in their mouths. The other thing that's happening here in the Philippines where they're feeding these sharks to attract them close by is they're not out in the open ocean doing natural selection for finding mates and breeding. They're congregating and staying around this one small area which may actually interfere with their normal breeding process. Who eats whale sharks? Actually, not too many other critters, but people do, I hate to say. The gill rakers on the inside of the mouth of the whale shark are actually a delicacy in China. And people kill some of these giant, beautiful sharks just to eat a little part of their gills. Sounds silly, but it's true. It's really important that we protect these wonderful creatures. If you notice, on the front of the mouth and the nostrils and around the eyes in some of these whale sharks that they're getting little bumps and tumors and also have fungal infections. This may be from actually rubbing up against the outriggers or maybe not moving enough water through their gills to keep everything clean. The positive thing about attracting beautiful animals like this up close to where people are and divers like myself can see them and take beautiful pictures and be right in their presence without bothering them is that it does allow a lot of people to see how beautiful and wonderful these creatures are. This can help the animal itself because the more people that know how beautiful and special these whale sharks are then the more money will be put into their study and their eventual protection. Whale sharks live in most all tropical waters all around the world and we see them from time to time here in Hawaii. They are a creature that definitely needs to have more studies done and more understanding so we can make sure and keep our oceans clean and healthy enough so the whale sharks can live another 60 million years.